Hello, namaste. It's lovely to connect with you today. My name's Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au. Hi, Chelsea. Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for Saturday and Sunday. That's Saturday the 7th and Sunday the 8th of July. So extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. Um, hello Thelma and Dina, lovely to see you. I'm all made up. I've just been decorating my face ready for our um, cleansing ceremony that I'm about to do in the Pillar of Light family, which will be happening in a little over an hour. Um, thinking we might head down to the beach even though it's quite windy and rainy but we'll work with the elements to do some cleansing maybe light a fire if it's not too wet may not be possible we'll see so I'm ready to um, this is a big day of purging and clearing out um, so if you missed the memo earlier I did put a post up before I had a shower so about half an hour ago saying that there will be a 7-7 healing event today. Um, it won't be in the next couple of hours, but it will be sometime this afternoon or this evening, my time. So I look forward to connecting with you for that. If you're new to watching, welcome. What I'm going to be doing today is using my Speed of Light Oracle cards, and I'm looking for the best card for Saturday, the 7th of July, the best card for Sunday, the 8th of July, and the best card for the theme for Saturday and Sunday. So I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason and I trust something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. Just remember this is a guide only. Please don't sit there believing everything I say or thinking that everything I say is right for you because it most likely won't be. I trust my intuition, deliver what I need to, and I then put the ball in your court to trust your intuition and what feels right from what's shared. So just take snippets out that make sense to you that resonate and just let the rest go. So let's get straight into it. I don't have stacks of time to share and be here this morning um, because I am preparing for this cleansing ceremony and I do have to drive to wherever we're going. So. Um, I just wanted to stop in beforehand and connect with you and the weekend. So I'm now looking for the best card for Saturday the 7th of July. So Saturday the 7th. If it's not Saturday for you yet, you can think of this as guidance in advance. And please refer back to my video that I did on Thursday for Friday's guidance. So Saturday the 7th of the 7th. We'll go with this card right here. Um, expression card 31, expression. It says communication, listen, share, deliver and trust. This talks about um, communicating and conversations and expressing ourselves being really important on Saturday. And I can... Ah, someone's in the video. <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> <laughs> sneaking in the door. Uh, did you forget something? Yeah. Um, surprise. So, <laughs> um, yeah, this is uh, I'm not surprising. This is come. See, Sean, this I'm not surprising that this has come up for um, Saturday. I'm feeling a really strong energy around in um, expression and communicating and really getting the energy moving now through expression. So I talk a lot about the energy moving emotionally and that the emotions just help us get the energy moving. And there's been a lot of that these last few days. We've been very much um, deeply in our emotion. And then if we allow it to move, we move deeply into the next emotion and the next emotion. Another great way to move energy is to communicate and express and talk about, um, even if it's just to ourselves, but communicating it perhaps to others as well, to clear the air or get the energy moving as well. 
So instead of bottling stuff up inside, we're encouraged to speak up and trust what we feel we need to say. Also listen, because communication is a two-way thing. It's, um, you know, it's not just about what we have to say. Other people should be entitled to speak up too. So let's balance what we have to say with our listening. Let's also keep in mind that sometimes what we don't say, you know, we don't have to blurt out everything just because we're feeling it. Um, you know, I think that sometimes, um, sometimes, in fact, a lot of the time, what we see playing out or what's affecting us or what's stirring us up or what we're reacting or responding to is a very personal thing. So what we choose to express and share and communicate can also be a personal thing. Just because we feel a certain way doesn't mean we have to tell the whole neighbourhood and everyone that we know about it. So sometimes it's about savouring and recognising when we speak up and when we just hold our space of silence. So I feel the balance in communication, a balance between what we say, what we don't say, also what we speak and what we're listening to make sure we're really hearing what's happening in communications. Communications aren't an easy subject um, because it does, um, if we're not communicating, if we're not being honest and expressing ourselves, especially in relationships um, of any type, then it can create a discord because people can sense it. It can be sent. So it, we're best to speak up, clear the air or do what we need to do um, communication wise. So let's trust in the words that we need to say. And let's remember that our words are our friend because sometimes I know for me over the years, um, as I've shifted blocks in my throat chakra around communication, um, I've had to really come to peace with my words um, because I used to think many decades ago that my words were like my enemy and I'd always say the wrong thing or upset people or people would take what I was saying the wrong way because I wasn't confident in the words that I was speaking. So I realised when those situations were happening a lot, that, um, I realised that I had to make peace with my words. I had to find or recognise that my words are my friend. They're not my enemy. So just something to think about perhaps if you've been having communication issues lately. So I trust that resonates for your Saturday. Now let's look for the best card for Sunday the 8th of July. Sunday the 8th of July. And I trust the best card is this for Sunday. It's Purification. Card 8, Cleanse, Detoxification and Toxins. This talks about clearing, purging, cleansing which is a big thing that a lot of us are doing at this time. We've been doing it for most of the week. Um, like I mentioned when I first started this video, I'm all painted up, ready for a cleansing ceremony that we're doing in the Pillar of Light family. So there's a lot of cleansing around. This card's come up for Sunday, so it's showing also that there's still a lot of cleansing and purging taking place or potentially there for us on Sunday. So anything we've been holding on too tightly to, any attachments that we've been noticing, any stuff that we need to fully let go from or release from our body, our mind, our emotions, our life, will probably call for clearing and cleansing and focus for that stuff on Sunday. So for some of us, we may feel like we want to have a big spring clean in our house and that can be really cleansing, not only for our house, but internally too. We may feel that we want to open up all the windows and do a really big smudge uh, using the smudge stick or an incense of our house or of our space. So whatever we feel, however we feel inspired to proceed with this, let's trust that if we need to deeply cleanse, let's um, activate that on a deeper level on Sunday. Um, for our physical body, if it's been unwell, we might want to increase our water intake and reduce our food intake. I, I find sometimes that very cleansing for my body if I kind of minimise my foods and really just focus on eating things like fresh fruit um, or just a little plate of vegetables or something if I'm hungry and just really like double or triple my water intake and squeeze a bit of lemon into my water. I find that that's very clearing for me. 
Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> I pause things, but everything's okay. Um, so yeah, just listen to, I feel your intuition, your body and what you need to do on Sunday and far, as far as what you need to cleanse or purge from your body, your mind, your emotions, your life. If you've been thinking about doing a big clear out or, or uh, doing a bit of a detox for your body or really cutting ties in your life energetically, then it may, if it's something you've been thinking about, then it may be, you may be inspired to take action on that on Sunday, is what I'm trying to say. So purging, clearing, letting go, letting go, releasing, surrendering. So I trust that makes sense for your Sunday. So let's now look for the best card for the theme for Saturday and Sunday. So the theme card will help tie these days together and help us see the bigger picture for the weekend. So the best card for the theme is this. Eagle's Nest, card 14. My favourite card, I must say. It says preparation, home, waiting and soon. It talks about our time of waiting will soon be over that we are now in a phase of preparing ourselves, preparing ourselves for what's next, preparing ourselves for goodness knows what. Sometimes we have no idea what we're preparing ourselves for, but we can trust that if we're feeling like we need to prepare, and that might include cleansing and clearing, but if we're in that mode of preparation, we can trust that we're preparing for something that's coming or something that's necessary. So let's trust in this time of preparation this weekend as we're clearing and purging and expressing ourselves, being clear with our communication with ourselves as well. And maybe are drawn to spend time in the home or the home may be a little bit, um, we may just feel like we want to be in our home space. This is talking about the home. So we may want to just be in our own nest, in our own home for the most part of the weekend. So changes in the home. <clears throat> well, <coughs> that stirred up something and moved energy in the throat, didn't it? Changes in the home over this weekend. Changes to our environment and our sacred space in our home and maybe our inner home inside our inner being, our inner self, allowing ourselves to cut ties and let ourselves break free. So preparation, home, waiting, changes in the home. Tending to the nest, which are among my favourite words to say, especially if I'm getting too caught up in what's happened or other people's stuff or just thinking outside of myself. I keep reminding myself to tend to the nest, tend to the nest. What does that mean? To me, it means tend to what is important to me, tend to my work, focus on what's important to me. Sometimes we need to give ourselves a bit of a reality check and be careful we're not giving our energy away in, in unnecessary ways. So let's bring it all back into ourselves and focus or tend to what's important to us. Focus on what's needed in the home or what's close to our heart so that we can purge and clear and clear the air. You know, clear the air, especially in our relationships if required and our relationship with ourselves. I keep just adding stuff, don't I? So that's the eagle's nest. It feels to be quite a grounding energy, very much drawn to the tree energy of this card. So um, we'll see how we go. Let's just see how our weekend flows. So thanks for connecting. Today I've used my Speed of Light Oracle cards. Um, these have been created by me and if you are inspired to learn more about them or add them to your collection, they're very, very easy to use. They come with a guidebook and you can learn more about them on my website at templeofbalance.com.au. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you'd like to connect more privately, just send us a message through our website. 
it started pouring down with rain, which is deeply cleansing, but I'm just wondering how my phone will hold up in the rain as we prepare to go and do our cleansing ceremony in the Pillar of Light family. So I'm looking forward to connecting with you guys. Then if you're uh, watching on my Temple of Balance Facebook page live, um, or to the replay. I will be back sometime today with our 7-7 healing event. Um, I'll let you know if I know in advance, but it may be spur of the moment that, okay, this is the time for it. So come back and connect if you miss it, but it will be happening today sometime or tonight, my time. So thanks so much for joining me. I trust you've enjoyed our time together today. If I'll be connecting with you in the cleansing ceremony or in the 7-7 seven, seven healing event, I look forward to connecting with you. I'm also connecting with a couple of people on private uh, chat, which is part of our my Patreon rewards. So if you do want to connect with me a bit pri more privately, there are options for that on my Patreon page. So just have a look through my website and you can access that if you want to. Or let me know if you can't find it. Um, so thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about the work that I do, please visit my website at templeofbalance.com.au. So thanks for watching and enjoy your weekend. Um, and I may connect with you again later. Bye. Namaste. Thank you.